Right now, we'll be introducing our first guest. Very handsome looking man, I must say. Don't blush yet. Okay, don't show him yet, oh. Don't show him yet. Thank you, director. So he's a very handsome looking man who's a professional musician and saxophonist. His name is Ajiboye Oladimeji Moses. He is popularly and globally known as Mighty Boye Sax. And he started his, you know, academic life with a degree in business admin. But when the love of music became so strong, he went to go and do a diploma of music in Peter King's College of Music. And for the past eight years, he has con organized a gospel music concert called For the Love of Gospel Music. And he had the most recent one yesterday. And it was themed Shekinah Glory. It's a pleasure to have the one and only Mighty Boye Sax here on the set with us today. And he's going to be entering the TV right now with a small something with his baby girl saxophone. Over to you. <laughs> Then I wonder what the heavy is going to be. <laughs> You're welcome on the show. Yeah, it's my pleasure. How are you doing? Fine. Okay, so um, so many times we have um, people, you know, come with their saxophone and it means different things to them. So, obviously, you have a relationship with yours. And that's going to be my first question. What does your saxophone represent to you? All right, um... My saxophone represents my identity, my su my sound, and um, it's one it's one identity I don't joke with. My saxophone is just it's just me. Okay. It's just me. That's that's just what I can just say. Okay. Does does it she have a name? <laughs> yeah. This. This particular doesn't have a name. Okay. But others have names. Others have names. I just knew it. It's, it's just <laughs> inevitable. Okay, Mighty Boy Sack. So let's talk about your journey. You've been in the industry for the longest time. Why gospel music? Why did you why did you decide to do gospel music? Alright, um gospel, yeah, I, I do gospel. And um, reasons why I did gospel or reasons why I'm doing gospel. It's basically because um, I actually didn't choose gospel. You know, back then in music school, they didn't teach us gospel music. Okay. We taught jazz and other genre of music. So uh, along the line, and I just found I found out that it was a calling. Though I I play other genres of music for events like dinner nights, wedding receptions, I do other okay. genres of music, but the gospel is it's just a calling. Okay, so. all right. So Mighty Boye Sax, I guess that Boye comes from Aji Boye. Yeah. So yeah. how did the Mighty come? How did the Mighty come into the name? Mighty, uh, I serve a Mighty God. So <laughs> okay. So I serve a Mighty God, Mighty Boye. Okay. So. God is mighty. Definitely, I, I must be mighty. Ah, I love that. See, see this. It's just with just a lot of confidence. God is mighty. Yeah. You know, so as God is, so we are. All right. So, so let's talk a little about you before we okay. come back to your Sucks your life partner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who is Boye? We know that you have a degree in business administration. Yeah. We know that you studied music at Peter King's College of Music. Yeah. So. Tell us about your family background. Are you the first in your family or the last? Do you like beans or rice? You know, <laughs> who inspires you? All right, um, I'm actually the first. Yeah, I missed my siblings, and um, I'm from Kwara State. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Kwara State. From a record in local government. Agbamu to be precise. Basically, Kula for Lions hometown. And the Apple Lions. Okay. Yeah, and um, uh, what else? I love, I love rice, rice and planting. 
Then I also love swallow. I don't joke with swallow. And um, what else? What else? I love table tennis. I okay. love soccer. I love traveling. I love meeting new people. I love music. I love music. <laughs> and um, I'm single. Okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> In case you're watching. I'm single, but not searching. Okay. And um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, I own a laundry business. Okay. Yeah, I, I once did laundry. And um, what else? What else? I do music business. That's all I can just remember. From That's now. a lot. That's a lot. Thank you for sharing with us. Why are you single and not searching? <laughs> you already told us you are single, then you now added but not searching. Uh -uh, yeah. That's like, it's like point water inside Fanta now. Like for real. Why? Um, why is because um, there are personal reasons. Okay, okay, that's fine. So let's talk about your inspiration. Okay. Uh, surely you must have seen one or two people yeah. uh, when you were starting out in your career as a saxophone, as a yeah. professional musician that really gingered you to, you know, go into this fully. Who are the people that have been your inspirations? Okay, um, I think I'll have to just flashback to my early days before I started playing saxophone. I remember while I, I was actually having the urge to play the saxophone, that was the first time seeing Pastor Kula Jai at the Redemption Camp okay. playing the saxophone. So over time, after while I was in music school, I began to discover a lot of uh, mentors and um, good saxophone, professional saxophone players. Our own saxophone players like Mike Aremu, Jeremy Molle, BJ Sax, um, Olu Jazz, Shegulu Ayomi, those are the people that have actually been inspiring me and I also have international inspires too. Okay. Like Kwekwalom, Dave Kors, Kenny G. Ah, Kenny G. Yeah, Kenny okay. G. Gerard Albright. Uh, we have uh, Joshua Redman. Um, Bob Minza. Bob Minza is a jazz saxophonist. So, um, these are just the people that I... I, I but if number one is spirit, of it all is the Holy Spirit for me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so right now we're going to be going on a break to right. play one of your videos. And when we come back, we're going to talk about how you practice. Okay. How many hours makes you a professional? Do you eat, wake up, rears, or do you eat, sleep, <laughs> wake up, sleep, really? You know, we're going to be talking about his process, how he perfects his craft as a musician, but not before we see one of Mighty Boy Saxe's videos. We'll enjoy and be right back. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you that this is not even one of Mighty Boy Sax's recent, most recent projects? This was three years ago. Yeah. He told me it was three years ago and it looks fresh. One of wow. the wonders of music. So, Mighty Boy Sax, right. for you to have put this together with a live band as well, probably took a lot of time. Yeah. So this leads me to my, you know, my next question. How long does it take you to rehearse personally before you work yes. with a band, okay. you know? How long does it take you to perfect um, your craft? Personally, it takes me about four to five hours to practice. Per week or per day? Every day. <laughs> and <laughs> most times it, it, um, it varies. Most times I practice in the morning from eight to 10 or eight to 11, then four to six okay. in the evening. So, and that's how we roll most times. You know, most times, the strength too determines how long you can also practice. So most times, when you have been stressed out, so I just take up about four hours okay. to reduce the stress too, so I don't fall, I don't break down. Okay, so many people think that to play a sax, you, you need a lot of air. 
right because i know that we cannot blow this thing with by just saying you have to push how do you keep your inside fit <laughs> a lot of a lot of persons have actually said um so funny things about saxophone or on players okay um, I remember somebody told me that people who play on instruments, they don't stay long. Or they, don't <laughs> they don't live long. They don't live long. <laughs> I was like, ah. I mean, but you people use a lot of strength now, so I think I can understand where they're yeah, coming from. Actually, this, this, this is just the actual truth. While you are playing these instruments, the lungs expand. Okay. So that's that's how... So it's, 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 it depends on... for. It depends on how long you take up the instrument serious. So uh, I've seen a lot of saxophone players that they are still alive in their seventies, eighties, sixties. So for crying out loud, we just have this uh, we like call it um, superstition mindset that in fact somebody even said that people who play this instrument they don't get married, and even if eventually when they get married they don't they, they can't reproduce. I was like, ah. Come on, on top saxophone. come on, I've, I've actually <laughs> seen a lot of saxophone players with beautiful families, so mine can't be any different, right? Here, right? So. That's great. So how many saxophones do you have? Um, I have about two saxophones. Okay. Yeah, I was having three, but some things came up, I had to just push that aside okay. because I was not ready to push more on it okay yeah all right so away from having many saxophones and <laughs> ha the saxophones having names you know and how your organs work i want to ask you all right when you're not playing saxophone when you're not rehearsing mm. when you're not working what will we find mighty boy sax doing um when i'm not playing when i'm not doing anything still i'm relaxing mm. how do you relax music i listen to music when you're not working you're still listening to music <laughs> <laughs> no break it's an addiction eh, eh. so um i i i i just take out time to brainstorm over things okay like i was telling um i was actually telling my manager that okay we we had our eighth edition of love for gospel music yesterday i was telling him i was already telling him of a vision for february next year okay and we started even planning for next year's concerts. Mm -hmm. So I is I hardly sleep. For people who know me, they, like they tell me, guy, you know the rest. I just feel it's not it's not my it's not by my my power. I just feel this thing is just from from above. From within. Yeah, that's from that's within. amazing. Okay, so you mentioned already the concert. Yeah. that you had uh, yeah. yesterday yeah. the love for gospel music, music concert, concert. Yeah. and yeah. this year's edition was themed she kind of glory yes what made you start the concert and what has kept you going all these years eight years mm. that's not beans yeah so what made you start and what has kept you going all right um i remember um eight years ago vividly eight years ago i was in church my dad's church that pastors and um, I was actually lying down that was the first time I actually heard God that was where I got full details about this vision and um, in fact God gave me every details of the vision for the next 10 years at that time so and like 80% <laughs> 80% 80 has 80 showed true okay. and uh, I know the many percent are, are, are done so um, I believe basically because God is truly involved in it and that's why we have fully be consistent in doing it so if it was to be by our own human strength we would have backed off financially it's not really easy like yesterday's events the cost for yesterday's events alone <laughs> is not something um, it's not something we can just we can just take lightly 
and um, holding a concert like that is not easy that's why we are always praying and also thankful to people who have been supporting the brand or supporting the ministry um, it's not really easy having a band of about 13 to 15 guys really has logistics and so many things involved mm -hmm. but God has just been the basic reason for us to be focused on the journey okay and yeah. so it's safe to say that you'll be here for many more years to come your definitely. concert definitely okay definitely. so how was yesterday's event it was mind-blowing mm. it was mind-blowing i i never ex i expected and god also shocked me in doing things mm -hmm. too so and um i'm just thankful to god for his mercies and grace and i think i am also thankful for the success Events. Okay, so we're going to go on another break right now to show another of Mighty Boys video. But before we go, I want to ask, when your parents see you do music like this, what 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 do they say to you? What uh, do they? I mean, you've been doing it for a while now, so probably the face of them saying, maybe you know, this is just me <laughs> talking generally. Like, is this all you're going to be doing, or is this what you want to do, or things like that? Have gone. What is their reaction when they see you practice and succeed in your career? Okay, let me let me shock you. Um, my early days learning the saxophone, I was not encouraged. Yeah, by my both parents, and um, it was after like three years of the vision came to reality. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that was about. Um, 2016, there about 15, 2016, there about when we had the second or third concerts, and they actually confessed that they now believe that this is <laughs> this is what I was actually called to do. You know, going at those days when I was actually pl planning to get a saxophone, my dad did encourage me, and was just yelling that all oh, your mates are in university yeah 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 here yeah, play yeah, saxophone, saxophone. Mm. in fact even when i went to music school i was not encouraged by any family member yeah i actually god helped me and uh, by by one of my spiritual mother um prophetess um elizabeth abiodun yeah she was actually the person who got my first saxophone wow yeah and she also, she also helped me in going to music school so it was while i got to the music school i began to learn properly and today they are so proud of me i love that <laughs> all right and on that note we're going to be showing you another of mighty boy Saxes videos we'll be back soon another realm that was somebody's son by Tua savage featuring brandy and that was somebody's son playing somebody's son on the saxophone for somebody's daughter <laughs> for somebody's daughter <laughs> thank you so much oh that was so good so you've worked with so many people mighty boy sax yeah. uh, so many people Dari justified bj sax yeah Agbebi, to mention a few are there people that you're looking forward to working with definitely okay um, like um, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Ah, amazing. Yeah, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. And um, I'm looking forward to also work with T.Y. Bello. Okay. Um, then this woman that did this, um, the chant. Oba. Yeah, Oba. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's and amazing. Likes, likes so are you working on anything right now? Or is, this, is there anything we should be looking forward to from you? Okay, um, yeah, a yeah, lot. I just um, dropped a praise medley, and um, I have just Loba. I have a rap gospel song called um, titled um, "O 
only God. Okay. And um, come next year, I'll be doing a lot of sweet and wonderful projects. Mm, by the grace of God, we're looking course. forward to that. So what would you say, Mighty Boy Sax, to people that want to pursue a career in you know, playing the saxophone professionally? What word of advice would you give to them? Um, the only word of advice I can give is just to stay focused and practice. Stay focused and practice. Practice, practice, and um, follow the right people and learn the right things. Mm, follow the right people and learn the right things. Amazing. And what would you say to your fans, to the people that love you, love your music, have been following your journey? I love them. I love them all. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> you say it into the camera. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've always been doing. I think this is a medium for me to express my gratitude. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, let me, so I will do it very well. Okay, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. I can't appreciate you guys enough. Thank you for the last turn up yesterday and thank you for the support. Looking forward to do more with you guys. Love you. He said it. He loves you. We love you too. So, um, Mighty Boy Sacks. Yep. How can people follow you on social media? Where are you active and where can they find you? I'm active everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on Instagram, um, at Mighty Boy One. Okay. On Facebook, um, Ajiboye Moses mm -hmm. And, um, every other social media, Mighty Boy. Mighty Boy. YouTube, Mighty Boy. TikTok, Mighty Boy. Mm, okay. It's yeah. been so good having you on the show today. Hope Great you had pleasure. fun. Yeah. Because yeah. I did. Actually, when you played, man. Mm, mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate your socks too. I I'd like to name your socks. If you don't mind. Oh, yeah, now. Name the ceremony. I hereby this day <laughs> confer the title. Of silver bowl, mm. <laughs> 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 on the saxophone. <laughs> you shall hear by this day forever be called Temitayo. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you can go for the rights after the show. Ask us. Send us a message in our DMs at yeah. Hanging Out TV Show on Instagram for where the party, the dedication it's, ceremony it's will happen. Live, I didn't see. Happening live. He yeah. said it too. After no, party. <laughs> after party. It's been so good having you on the show, Mighty Boy. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank and we hope to see more of you and more of the work that definitely, you will do. Definitely. It's been a great time on Hanging Out TV Show today. Want to say a big thank you to our guests and of course to you, our precious viewers, for watching the show today. Hope you've had a great one hour. We'll be here again next week. Don't forget, you're welcome to follow us on our Instagram at Hanging Out TV Show. And of course, you're welcome to follow me as well on Instagram at Lady Queen, of course. <laughs> I'll be here again next week. We'll all be here. Hope to see you in good health and sound mind. Till I come your way again, stay safe and God bless you. Goodbye. Hey. Hey.